my name is Venus. Okay, let's try again. Hi. Hi, my name is Venus, and welcome to my embarrassing ass YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about shrimping for the first time. To start things off, if you don't want to go alone, go with a friend that is not a punk ass bitch. I went with a friend, I'm not going to disclose her name, let's call her Pamela. Um, Pamela's not a punk ass bitch. So, you definitely have to research your clubs. Do you want to be fully nude? Do you want to be only topless? I walked into every single club that you could possibly go into on Times Square. None of them even wanted me to audition. That was because I was underage. So I wasted my time. So definitely don't waste your time and do your research. The one club that I did do research on, I ended up getting to audition and getting hired. So here's how you do it. You're definitely going to want to call them. You're going to need to know what to bring to audition. Um, some clubs are like super dressy, like gentlemen clubs, you usually have to wear a gown. Urban clubs, they don't really give a damn. So you really gotta figure it out. You also need to bring your social security card, your ID. You need stripper heels. Please bring stripper heels. Don't bring like club heels because you're gonna look dumb. You're gonna look dumb. Don't look dumb. You're also gonna have to figure out whether or not you're gonna be able to work immediately after they hire you or the next day. That will determine whether you bring a bunch of stuff or a little bit of stuff. If you can work the same day, bring some deodorant, bring some spray, bring some coochie spray, bring some white bees. You gotta bring a whole lot of stuff. There is a house mom there. She has all of those things, but like you wanna use your own stuff, really. You don't want her stuff, I guarantee. Um, well, at least I didn't. Anyway, for my audition, I had to do three songs and one with a gown on because I worked at a gentleman's club. Um, one with a gown on, one without the gown on, and one without your top. So that's as far as that gentleman club went. I went with my friend, so she went first. And it was really funny. She did not smile the entire time. It was, it was very interesting. But... Definitely smile, definitely on the stage, you know what I'm saying? I went on, I did my dance, I made sure to do dress on, dress off, top off. In, in, in that, that order. order. My first day working, so I went and I paid my little 40 bucks to work and I got, went on a tour with like one of the managers. He was telling me a whole bunch of stuff like, don't take your panties off in the private rooms, don't do this, don't do that. Don't drink too much, blah, blah, and I'm like... Well, I'm 19 right now. I don't want to drink. After that, I was cut free, and I was on my own. So I went into the dressing room, and let me tell you, these girls are not your friends. These girls are not nice, okay? Eventually, I made two or three friends that were really, really nice, but the girls that are there, because you're fresh meat, and they feel like you're going to make a lot of money, they're going to look at you all stink. Unless you work at such a nice little club, and blah, blah, blah. I did not. My club, it was nice. It was nice looking or whatever. But these girls were shy see, let me tell you. I made $80 that day. Like nothing. Mind you, I paid 40 something dollars to work. It, it, was, it was pointless to me. And I was like, oh my god. I thought that I was going to be up here making bands. Bands. But no, no. That first day, I was like, what's this? Like, I was embarrassed to come home with my husband. I was like, listen, I didn't make nothing. But it's okay. Because that same week, I made a lot of money. So don't don't really get down if you don't make a lot of money. A lot of people think that, like, once you start stripping, it's going to be like, but it's not. It really isn't. And it really depends on the day and, like, what club you're at and all that stuff. So... Do not drink alcohol. There were so many bitches there that were stopping their own bag because they were so wasted that they couldn't even make any money. If somebody offers you a drink, take it. Don't be rude. You take that drink and you be like, mm, so cute, maybe take a little couple sips, right? But don't, don't sit here and get drunk at all. 
And if you have to put your drink down to do a dance, do not pick it back up and drink it again. Period. You gotta finesse them. You really do. So the drunker they get, the looser their wallets get. Okay? So definitely keep that in mind. At my club, you either were on stage or you were on the floor. Not literally, like a door. Anyway, you get called to the stage depending on how many girls are present that day. There always has to be somebody on the main stage at all times. And if it's really packed on like a bunch of other stages that are there. You have the opportunity to get tipped on stage, but in my club, I don't know why, they just generally didn't. You made so much money doing dances, way more money doing dances than being on stage. So when you dance, don't stop until they stop you. Say that it was one more than it actually was, depending on how drunk they are. Charge three, charge four. If they're super wasted, charge five. Just be like, yup. And they have to give it to you. What are they gonna do? Say no. And then you make a big fuss. And then they get kicked out of the club. So get your back. Trick them. Okay? I'm telling you. Another tip is if someone is talking to a guy, you do not talk to that man. Ignore that man. That man does not exist. So many fights happen because girls were like talking to a custody or a potential custody and some other girl was like, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Tuh. You gonna get beat up. Don't do it. Mind your business. Find someone else. Okay. I wouldn't count my money until the end of the day because a lot of girls have like a goal for the day. Like I want to make at least $600. So they would like count their money a lot and just get down if they weren't at their goal yet. Just because it seems slow right now doesn't mean that it's not gonna pick up later. So don't just feel down because you haven't gotten any guy to pay for a dance and there are only like six guys there. Wait, 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 wait up, drink a couple sodas, don't drink alcohol, and just wait, just wait. Because it may pick up and then you're gonna be so sick. If you left and then you come back and one of the girls in the club is like, in the in the dressing room, is like, oh my god, yesterday was so lit, it got so packed. Like, you're gonna be mad as a bitch. So definitely don't just leave because you're like, nobody's here. So many girls would be like, I'm not getting any dances. I only got like two dances. I've been here for three hours. I'm going home. Like, girl, get back to work. Like, stop it. Definitely stay until you can't stay no more and get to that bag, okay? But once you do leave, you have to tip everyone out. I, in my club, had to tip out the DJ, the house mom, and the place. So each of them would be $20. So it's you have to at least start off the, your day, your shift, like I need three dances. And then after three dances, that's when my money really starts rolling in. If you don't want to strip, for other people. You can strip for the camera and then start OnlyFans. And that is a video that I will make <laughs> at another time, okay? So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I love criticism, so please let a girl know if this was whack. And if you want other videos on anything else, feel free, feel free to let me know. Just comment. Okay. So again, thank you for watching and I will see y'all hopefully next Wednesday if I am not lazy. Goodbye.